Hey guys, I've got a Eaton Solo self-adjusting clutch here and uh, show you a couple things about it. Up here we've got the uh, wear indicator. Up above it, an indication line of what kind of wear it's at. We've got our release forks up here, release bearing, and then our clutch brake back there. Apparently with the hydraulic clutches, you don't need to get up in there between the release bearing and the clutch brakes. Your gap in here should be about half an inch. I'll show you how to do a reset on this thing. Get my partner to push in the clutch. So you push that indicator tab all the way up to the top there. Now we'll put it into the position where it's like new. Clutch back out. And as he pushes the clutch in and out, you'll see it self adjust up. And then you'll see the gap turn back to approximately half an inch there on the uh, clutch brake. And looks like it's getting good squeeze there. I'm pretty happy with it. I think once your indicator gets to uh, worn out or if you're having slipping problems and it doesn't look like it's moving at all, if you try and push it back, then it's probably time for replacement. A lot of people are saying that they put the easy pedal clutch in and not run one of these, but I think with the uh, hydraulic clutch on this one, it's kind of necessary. Thanks for watching. Bye.